Kinesiology taping to support forward head. Activation of the neck extensors. Forward head is a term that we see used in what we do in terms of soft tissue and movement work quite often. Also called upper cross syndrome, where we see this anterior positioning of the cervical spine. So what we tend to see happening is that we've got these long, taut, uncomfortable lower neck extensors. But then at the upper neck extensors, right at that suboccipital, they tend to be short and tight. People will complain of potentially neck pain, headaches, and just discomfort at the base of the skull, as well as potentially pain and weakness between the shoulder blades and down that long extended chain. As I said, this is something we see really commonly today. But if this is something your client has come to you for, it's because it's probably causing them mobility issues, pain, or preventing them from achieving movement or activities that they want to. So you're looking at their whole body. Your treatment goal is looking at correcting more than just that forward head. You might also be looking at chest mobilization, shoulder mobilization, releasing some of the spine. Um, and if the head is the last part of the equation or the part that the client struggles with the most, then taping can be used to try and support that as part of your wider treatment goal. The deep neck flexors might also be short and tight, for example. What are you releasing and what are you strengthening? This is certainly a wider treatment plan if you're treating someone with forward head. You really need to assess globally to see what's going on and also to look at the functional impacts. What can they do and what's being restricted by this forward head position? We really need to understand their activity of daily life, what their hobbies are, what they do for a job. And this will help drive the home care that you need to work with your client on. Maybe it's just a cue about how they hold their body, how they hold their hips, their spines, their head, or how it is they perform those daily activities or hobbies. It's certainly not a one fix for all using taping to help with the forward head, but it absolutely can help speed up your home care and the work you're doing with your client by helping to give them a stimulus to engage those lower, head extensors and help them to start progressing. So we're going to look at a very simple taping to support that wider treatment plan. We'll do a one-step taping to activate the lower neck extensors. But there are numerous other options depending on your treatment goal. You might want to help support them in thoracic extension if they have that upper cross syndrome. You might want to inhibit the pectorals, help open up that chest. Depending on their shoulder mobility, you might be doing some shoulder stabilization work. So lots and lots of options. And as always, it's really key that you assess your client to ensure that you're treating them holistically, a 360 approach, and not just sticking tape on the part that hurts the most. Let's take a look at that taping. Firstly, it's an activation, so we're going to tape towards the midline of the body. So we're going to anchor the tape in maybe around the T3, T4 area of the thoracic spine. So we anchor with no tension on the tape and no stretch on the tissue. Now, we are going to get our client to stretch their head forward and we're going to add a light amount of stretch to the tape and anchor up one side of the soft tissue on one side of the spine. Again, on the other side, add a light amount of stretch and lay down onto stretch tissue on the opposite side of the spine. And then simply anchor the tape with no tension. Note that we don't anchor right up to the base of the occiput. For one reason, the hair is there. And remember, we want to activate the long neck extensors because typically the short or the upper neck extensors towards the occiput are already too short. 